We are trained what to think in our colleges and universities. There is a syllabus, there is a book. You are you should think only that. Remember, reproduce. What is most important is that if a real life situation if you face, those solutions will not work. Because what has worked in a particular company, what has worked in a particular country, your country is same, situation is same, you are different. You are different, country is different. And so when you try to apply the solutions which are provided in the real, in the books, it will not work. What is most important is how to think. Because if you know how to think, then irrespective of the situation, you will be able to find a solution which will work. The important thing is that your solution should work. That is the reality, that is the truth of the solution. It is not that Einstein has said that, or Bill Gates has said that, or Mahatma Gandhi has said that, or it is in particular scripture. So I will follow that. And if you follow, and the result doesn't come, it is good for nothing. Ultimately, you have to see that every creation, everything which you learn in the books, is nothing but a second-hand knowledge. It has worked for somebody. In the past, maybe a thousand years back, maybe twenty years back, but today it will work or not, you don't know. Therefore, you should be able to learn how to think. And today I am going to just brief upon that, and I want to provoke you, and I want to just, you must think over it, I know it's not something which you will grasp immediately, but if you think and pay attention on that, you will perhaps learn how to think. One of the things which you must understand is there is a very famous saying in the media that if a man is bitten by a dog, it is not a news. But if a man bites a dog, it is a news. And so the media shows the exception rather than what is the reality. If there are thousand people who are doing their job very honestly, sincerely, they will not talk about it. If one person fails, does something wrong, 24 by 7 you will see that. The result is that you start thinking, oh my god, we are in a very bad time. See what is happening. We get paranoid. Those who are using social media, Facebook or any, they know. Most of the people will be talking negative. They will be cursing this government, they will be cursing, maybe cursing our country, cursing other people. Very few people will have appreciation for other. Right or wrong? Yes, sir. Right? Yes. Now that gives us an impression as if everything is going bad. We do not see the reality as it is. We see the reality as the other people are trying to project us. The need is to understand what is the reality. And for that, please understand the truth is a very shy person, is like a very shy person. It never comes to you. It's like a saint who is sitting in a cave. You have to go and get the truth. What comes to you by its own effort is nothing but either advertisement or a Western interest or somebody's second-hand opinion. It is not the truth. Truth has to be discovered only by yourself. First principle, please remember this. You have to make an effort and it is much easier to know the truth than you marry. It is very easy. Only thing is you have to discover the truth yourself. The second thing you have to understand is that all the advertisement, all the things create only a reason. They create a reason to produce, so we will propagate their project. I want to give you an example which is a very favorite example of mine. It is called, it is not false, by the way. 
man made by God. It's not false. This is called, please remember this called stream on body sin illusion. This is something which is called swimmer body illusion. See, when we see a professional swimmer's body in any championship, we find that their body is the best. It's very streamlined body, well proportioned body, and so you think that, well, people say, oh, let's go for swimming. We'll also get the body like that. But you swim and swim and swim and you find that the body doesn't change. Experiment was conducted, a great study was conducted in the Western countries and what they found is something which you should remember. Swimmers, the, the professional swimmers succeed because they have a body which is suitable for swimming. And not that because they swim, they get that word. You understand my point? The reason is that swimming creates the body. The fact is that the body creates the swimming. If you have the right body, you will be the best swimmer. If you don't have that type of body, you can never become a best swimmer. This illusion is there everywhere. There will be an advertisement of a cosmetic, fair and lovely. You will find a model who uses that cream become very beautiful. This is a illusion. The fact is that the model was selected because he was beautiful. They were, must have screened thousands of models and selected the model who was already beautiful. And not because he has applied the cream and become beautiful. But the illusion is that if you use the screen, you will become beautiful. Right? <coughs> this is the illusion which is created. The differentiation in the cause and effect. What is effect is made a cause, and what is cause and made an effect. So this is something which you have to understand. Yesterday I was seeing a television program. It is hosted by Anupam K, one of the very famous actors in North India. And the participant, the first was Mr. Kapil Sharma. He is known to be a great comedian. I don't know whether you have seen those programs or not. And the name of the program was Kuch Bhi Ho Sakta Hai. That means anything is possible. And the theme was that anybody can become anybody. So a team person can become Prime Minister. You can start a company with 10,000 rupees like Naran Murthy and make it a billionaire company. You can write a book for example and become a Chetan Bhagat or can become a, a Miss Tripathi and earn you know, 5 crore rupees in for your, you know, as an advance. You must develop a habit to know the fact. It is a statistical fact that out of 5 companies which start, only one company survives beyond five years. It is a statistical fact. Four companies close down. Only one in a million company become, you know, Microsoft. For one hundred books which are written, only thirty books make profit. Seventy books do not make or not able to recover its cost. There are 3,500 books written every day in America alone, new books. One million books are written in America alone, new books. And how many books are seen? Maybe a couple of dozens. Whenever somebody throws you these figures, try to motivate you, it's good to be motivated, good to be inspired. But it is also important to know a fact. Because when you fail, it is very, very painful if you are not prepared for it. If you are prepared for it, go ahead. But be ready to face the fact because everybody talks about success stories. Nobody talks about failure stories. The four people who fail and close their shops in five years, 
Nobody writes a book on that. Right or wrong? Only one in a million who succeeds people write a book on that. For other people, they will never write. So you get an impression, well, if I have the determination, if I work hard 12 hours, 13 hours, 15 hours, I will also be successful like that. Thousands of people are trying like that. And they don't get success. It is not to say that you should not try to become entrepreneur, but you must always understand that this is the reality. Know the reality. That is very, very important.